Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I started off my morning by going to the gym. I did a good session. I mean, it wasn't amazing. I basically, I planned to go to Park Run, which is like a 5K run they do like everywhere around like the UK. And I didn't make it. In fact, I didn't want to go at all. And I was like, discipline, saffron, discipline. And then I got there and I was actually late and you can't do it late. So I was like, Ugh, maybe it just wasn't meant to be. So I didn't do part run. I turned around and I went to the gym and I did run. I still did the 5K. So there was still discipline there. And I really, really, really didn't want to do it. But it was way better than doing it outdoors because it was just so cold. Like I woke up this morning and I was cold. I can't work out the heating in my house. Literally was freezing. I can't even tell you. There's so many like little things I still need to work out in my house. Like, guys looking at me vlogging and I'm actually so embarrassed. There's so many little things that I need to just still work out how to use and stuff in my house. The main thing being the heating because honestly it is so cold. It's just suddenly the temperature has just changed so much. All of a sudden it's just gone to winter. Like it's gone from like zero to a hundred. No it's gone from like a hundred to zero. Yeah. So anyways I didn't want to do that. I did go to the gym and then I just went and got my nails done. I'm just not sure if they're super boring. I got them super plain. I mean you can't actually see on camera but they do actually have sparkles. But I feel like you're not going to see that on camera. But I was going to get black tips. And then as she was doing them, I was looking at the pink and I was like, oh, I really love just how simple they are. So I got these simple nails. I mean, they're prettier in person because they do have little sparkles. But I'm still just not sure if they're too boring. Because these are my holiday nails. But I don't want to get like bright nails. I've just learned it's not really me it's not for me because i can't deal with like if i have pink nails i therefore i cannot wear blue like i can't wear different colors it stresses me out it's like i don't have any sort of like ocd but when it comes to um when it comes to my nails there's just something about it like if it doesn't match with my outfit i can't tell you how much it stresses me out so the good thing is it will go with everything but i'm just not sure if it's super boring so before i go away i might add some like tips to it just some white tips or something which isn't that much more exciting but it's a little bit more exciting so yeah who knows who knows anyways i am going to head home i've got a fair bit to do today my hello fresh box arrived yesterday so i'm actually gonna make myself some hello fresh for lunch oh i need to turn this off because it's gonna keep beeping oh and i just picked up some bits from super jog so maybe i'll do like a little haul it's so cute actually because the girl who served me at super Drug came to like a primark thing years well met me in primark when i had my primark range years ago and it's just so crazy like how quick time flies by um and also just how many of you have been here for the longest time supporting me it just blows my mind and also another thing sorry just to add i know i'm totally rambling on but it is mental like i meet so many of you every single day like genuinely every single day i meet you guys and it's crazy like how many new people i meet every day but it literally is the best thing like you're always so kind so i'm just so grateful for all of your support but anyways right i'm gonna head home i've got a fair bit i need to do i might get my hair done today basically i've been told that i can get my hair done today or tomorrow so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do because i want to work out tomorrow and i know it sounds ridiculous but when you get new fresh extensions the last thing you want to do is work out the next day because like that silky feeling when you first get extensions there's no other feeling like it no other feeling it literally is the best feeling in the world by the way what i picked up from super drug is really nothing exciting and um, i got some cotton wool pads just because i've been told not to use face wipes um, and there's a particular like micellar water that i've ordered that i have been recommended for my skin from a skin specialist so i've ordered that from look fantastic however it doesn't arrive until two days i think so i don't want to use face wipes in the meantime either and um, so i just got some normal micellar water for now that is in here so i literally just picked up this because i think it has to be better than face wipes and um, i got some toothpaste I know this is really random, but this is my favourite toothpaste. I absolutely love it. And then I got some bits just for holiday. So I got a UK... Oh my God, I picked up the wrong one. Bloody hell. No, I didn't. I thought I picked up a UK to US, but no, I've not. I picked up a UK to Europe travel adapter. So that is not going to be helpful now, is it? I got some eyelashes. I got my favorite which are the isla well actually the 117 are my favorite i thought i'd also try this one this is the 171 and then i also got these i thought they're really nice but i feel like i'll put these on and be like nope too big but let's have a look so these are also isla but these are faux mink collection so it's these ones here then i also got the got to be glued hairspray this is the best i got a new one so i can take it away on holiday with me and then i also picked up this 
that looks amazing. This is the, also by I've Got To Be, this is the glued for brows and edges. And I think, honestly, I'm more likely gonna use this just for like sleeking a pony or like sleeking a bun. Also, I will definitely give it a try on my eyebrows as well. I mean, I literally had my brows done the other day, HD brows, so currently I don't actually have to put any product on them. They will just stay like, fluffy like they are which i absolutely love but give it about two weeks i definitely will need product on it maybe a little bit less so yeah this is hopefully going to be amazing for that and then yeah i did say it was a little bit boring all else i picked up was some hair bands and some hair grip so yeah that's everything i got for the job. i stand by you when you're falling when the river Lunch is, is in fact served. Oh my goodness, it smells freaking amazing. Oh my goodness, I wish there was smell of vision. It looks so good. This is just so like not something I would normally cook. And I'm so happy that I have because it looks unreal. The salad you're meant to actually put like a balsamic, um, well balsamic on it and rock it. I don't like either, so that's why this looks a little bit plain. Then I've left this in the pan because Jed, Imogen, my dad, and mum are coming over in a minute and dad really wanted dinner. So I said that I'd cook for him. So I'm gonna, I was gonna dish it up for dad now. However, he's not gonna be here till like another 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna put it back in the oven so it stays warm and I'm gonna have my lunch right now well lunch stroke dinner i guess so i've got visitors hi mum's also here do you not like that angle close, very close mum imagine if you was kardashian see they have cameras in them all the time all i'm not a kardashian angles, so you would need anyways we have just watched an episode of the kardashians and my mum can't believe how like actually old they are not in a rude way meaning they look so young and mum's like, well, this is depressing. Yeah. Apparently she needs to find a rich husband now. Chip, what are you doing? Beating up everyone. All right, brilliant content. I actually can't get over how stunning the Kardashians are. Like, they are just so beautiful. I've just been watching them thinking, how is it humanly possible to look that beautiful? You know, because but, people compare us to them. Do they? Yeah, all the time. Yeah? Well, to be fair, we are part of the Barker family now. Which we, well, we actually, are they're now the part of the Barker family. Who's part of the Barker family? Courtney, she's called Courtney Barker now. See, meant to be. Mm. Meant to be. Exactly. Do you want to come part of the Bark family? No. Oh. It's not good here. <laughs> Wait, what? Don't what you see on the internet. <laughs> Wait, what? That is no, so joking. rude. <laughs> How dare you? I'm joking. Love each other. Love each other. No, you're not getting love from me now. You can see in the corner. You're getting your no eye. love from me either. In fact, what are you doing here? Can you go home? I don't have one. <laughs> yeah, you're not coming back to mine now. Yours is our apartment. I am so happy my mum and dad have figured out how to do the heating. One, but dad's come over to watch the football in the cinema. So see ya. Yes. Oh, did you get your tango eyes blast? Yes, a bit watery, but it's actually. Yeah, it's because I just turned on the machine, that's why. Isn't he quieter in vlogs now? Yeah, what's I got happened? a comment on it on live the other day. <laughs> and I told him, he's just so much quieter now I've realised. He's getting so, old. He's getting old, Jenny can't keep listen, the year. Pull back the ears if you want me to. No, please you don't. You tell me not to. No, because so you're a weirdo. Because they tell me off. I said it does I'll do look. it for long. <laughs> what? Why are you so upset? Be Why are you so upset? <laughs> Right, so we're gonna watch Hocus Pocus 2 because everyone I know has been raving about this. But I, are you alright, Jed? Sure why on. are you lay, laying on this, by the way? Because I don't want to say that to you. You smell. All right, lovely. Why Anyways, well, this is actual me. Mama Jala. I told you she's actually Chris Jenner. Look at her. She's always got the phone out. What's she doing? <laughs> Filters. Are you okay, Mum? <laughs> Anyways, we're about to watch Hocus Pocus 2 because everyone's been raving about it, but I've never seen number one. I've never even heard of number one. I neither had Imogen, so that does no, actually no, make me feel I've, better. I've, I've, I've watched it, though. Wait, what? I just said that I haven't watched two, but I've watched one. Oh, I thought you'd never watched number one. <laughs> no, like, I have, but like years ago. It was 1993, so I would have watched it as a child on, like, Disney Channel. So are you sure I don't need to watch number one? No, because I'm pretty sure the witches just, like, come out at Halloween. Did. But like, they come out after a certain amount of, like, years. Okay, so if I get so, confused, you just need to fill me in. Anything to be confused about it's a children's film. Well, actually, knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, you're actually being mean today. Really Where does this all come from? You know, Imogen says she doesn't want to be part of the Bark family because it's fake. That's what she said on the vlog. <laughs> Mom, why are you laughing? Oh, 
thing. It is fine. What do you mean? That is so mean. You're all just like calling me out on the vlog. So my family just left mine. I'm so tired, but I've come to do a late night shop. One, because I want snacks, and two, because I actually have no food in my house. Like, I even need to get milk and stuff in the morning, porridge, etc., etc. Like, I literally have nothing. Like, everyone goes in my house and they're like, you don't have anything. But it's because I hate wasting food and I'm hardly here. And I'm actually only here for three more days until I go away again. But I'm just going to stock up on some food so I have some food for the next three days. So, I dragged myself out of bed. When I say goodbye to them, I was like, do you know what? I'm going to get up. I'm going to go. And I did really want snacks as well. So, I'm in fact going to do that and carry on watching Hocus Pocus because I haven't finished it yet and I'm actually thoroughly enjoying it. I just finished Hocus Pocus and did in fact finish the entire packet of chocolate buttons. I don't know how people buy a bag of chocolate and seal it up. I mean, if you do that, I don't think you're human because I've never done it in my life. Hi people, I have had a productive morning. I'm feeling very happy. Um, it is actually like a day in between the last clip. Basically, <laughs> I've missed a day if that makes any sense. The reason I'm telling you this, my hair looks so different. Um, and I go to Nashville tomorrow. What on earth? Um, I'm so excited, I can't even actually contain it. But um, yeah, I'm so sorry I didn't vlog yesterday. I vlogged the day before. The reason I didn't vlog yesterday, I just had so many work bits to get done. I was just actually manic. Been a little bit stressed. I can't lie, I've been absolutely non, non-stop. But I've just got back from the skip. I have sorted myself out a little bit. <sighs> I'm out of breath from like walking around the house. How ridiculous is that? I need to just like stand still for a second. Anyways, um, I have been tidying my house this morning, although actually, I don't think I've actually ever seen it so messy in my life. I was so busy yesterday, I like, didn't have time to vlog. I <laughs> was just non-stop with work. I did manage to get loads of content done, which I'm so happy for doing, although it wasn't vlogging. But yeah, I just basically left the house like in a tip. So I woke up this morning and I was like, it's really messy. So I've got a lot of tidying to do. I did in fact go to the skip this morning. I feel so happy for getting that done because every time I vlog in my car, I'm like, I need to go to the skip. Although I did just put more cardboard in my car, can you believe it? But I do in fact go to Nashville tomorrow. So I have a busy day today. I need to pack my case. I started packing my case. It's just been a little bit stressful. In fact, I'm gonna tell you in the car. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna vlog in the car again because I actually do need to go. I'm going to the gym now. I'm going to the gym to go do my calisthenic session. And I'm also gonna try and get a little run in before I do that because I haven't been running as much like the past week. And I was getting into such a good routine with my run and I was really enjoying it and it was making me feel a whole lot better within myself mentally physically and I was just getting really fit so it's annoying that I kind of stopped that that kind of stopped because I was unwell but yes I am going to go for my gym session now I'm so happy though guys my new podcast with Anna has actually just launched and it is just so exciting like I can't even tell you how excited I am about this especially because it's actually all on video the whole episode you can watch as well as listen so it is a Spotify original podcast so it is only on Spotify but when you go to listen to it you can also watch it which I think is actually one of my personal favorite things about the whole podcast because I know majority of my followers all came from YouTube that's where I started out so I know if you're somebody that watches YouTube you might not necessarily be somebody that listens to a podcast so if you're not you can in fact watch it it's just like watching an extra long YouTube video video where you can find out absolutely everything about Anna and I and yeah overall I just absolutely love it so I'm really excited for all of you guys to see and just thank you so much to everybody tagging both of us in all of your stories I'm trying to like reshare as many as possible because when it launches it launches at midnight so last night I was like staying up in bed just waiting for it to come out so yeah it's really 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 exciting I'm so happy about that but I do need to go to the gym so I will fill you in everything else in the car. All right, everybody, I'm a little bit less frantic now. I'm so sorry, I was like, sort of breath and I wanted to vlog before I left the house. But yeah, so I've been packing my case this morning whilst doing everything else, if that makes sense. I just have this habit of not being able to do, don't know if it's a habit, I don't really know if habit's the right word, but basically I can't seem to do one thing without, um, sorry, it's really hard to reverse out of my driveway. Basically, I can't seem to do one thing and finish it. I start so many other things and it's really quite annoying. So I didn't just 
pack my case in one go i've been packing my case whilst doing other things because i get bored and i've just been a little bit stressed whilst packing my case because obviously i don't actually know how much i've told you about this trip but i'm going to nashville for five days with libby and then we're flying from nashville to miami which is obviously like a short haul flight it's not very far and then from miami we're going well we're spending five days in miami and then we're coming back home um and so miami and nashville were like two completely different places that i'm just a little bit stressed because i'm like i have no idea what to pack because what i would wear in miami is so opposite to what i would wear in nashville if that makes any sense so i'm just like very confused and very stressed when it comes to packing and don't get me wrong i know there is so many more things in the world to be stressed about like this is a very a very nice thing to be stressed about however i still am stressed because i'm just a bit confused i really really have no idea what to wear and it's so funny i was sending my mum like some outfit options of what to wear in nashville and she was like you look so cool but they're honestly gonna think what on earth are you wearing because i just i envision and i might be so incorrect but i just envision like denim shorts cowboy boots baggy t-shirts and i'm going in my loafers and like little dresses and i'm thinking <laughs> they're probably gonna think what on earth is she wearing but i don't really own cowboy boots and stuff so i'm probably just gonna have to buy some when i get there so yeah this morning i've been packing i have been in, oh i watched my podcast which is really exciting we don't watch it before it goes live so it's like a little bit nerve-wracking and then i've just been tidying up the house and doing bits and bobs i'm obviously going to my session now and then i really want to go see my grandparents after as well because i haven't actually seen my grandparents in the longest time i saw my nan the other day at nicole's baby shower saying that but i haven't actually like seen her like one-on-one -on -one gone over in the longest time so i really want to go and see them before i go away again because i go away for 10 days it is such a spontaneous trip by the way but i think that's why i'm a little bit stressed because i don't think i've ever well i've also never gone to one place and then flown to another i don't think i've been to la and then gone to vegas but we drove there and i was with my parents so i didn't organize that whereas with this trip i put everything so honestly guys it could go two ways i don't want to drink it here but there are many times i've messed up with booking flights and stuff and i'm just not the most organized gal so yeah i'm feeling the pressure for this all to go smoothly tori is freaking killing me today like my hand babe my hand is shaking holding this camera i'm i'm dying so i just got to my grandparents house we've ordered nando's this is their first nando's what do you think granddad of the nando's <laughs> nanny doesn't like the bread <laughs> yeah i just i don't get a burger i get half chicken but it has bones in it though so it's you either like love or hate it but you can get butterfly which is obviously just without the bread which is what you'd have look how good mine looks look at that yummy mine's barbecue yeah well it's half chicken yeah so it'd be it'll be leg <laughs> okay so i'm now back home and i have been packing my case i say case my two cases i seriously right this is my second case this is the added extra case and look how packed it is i seriously don't know how i do it like i've been sat here trying to remove things and everything i need or i want i don't know how i do it but i did pay for two cases for a reason so it is what it is i'm very glad i could pay for an extra case this is my outfit that i'm wearing in the morning and then i've just packed my bag oh my goodness i need to show you this Right, so I'm trying to be more organized. I need to get my apple tags, actually, because I'm going to put an apple tag inside this. But look how good this is. I don't actually know completely what this brand's called. Don't know if it's called Aspen of London or... Yeah, me and Libby were trying to work it out. So anyways, I got this, like, little passport holder. And it's so good. It's really nice. I think it's, like, a really nice Christmas present. I think my mum would genuinely love this for Christmas. And they had a really nice croc one as well. But, yeah, it says tickets, currency. So I put all my money in there. And it has one for passport and my passport's in there so this all comes as like a little set obviously i can't show you that but yeah my passport is inside so my passport's going in there i'm gonna put an apple tag in this and then as long as my passport's always in this hopefully i don't bloody lose the passport and i'm so happy i've invested in the apple tags i'm also gonna put them like in my handbags and stuff when i go out but i'm gonna make sure i always leave one hidden in here so if i do ever lose this so i do look like um something's actually landed on my head Baby, look at my hair. That looks gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. That looks so gorgeous. <laughs> Libby's here. <laughs> hey, girlies. Um, we 
I can't actually get our head around the fact that we're going tomorrow. It's actually nuts. I know, I feel like we're going to wake up and just like go to the gym or something. Yeah, oh. like, <laughs> that's what I feel like. Even though I've been packing for the past two hours, I still can't get my head around that we're going tomorrow. I just can't explain it. But I'm so excited. I'm so excited, but it also just doesn't feel real. And I don't think it's going to feel real until we're there. Why do you think it is? I think maybe because it's just, it was quite last minute, wasn't it? When we decided to And I think go. even when we booked it, it didn't feel like we booked it. No. <laughs> well, Anyways, we we're going, we're going. We can't bloody wait. Oh my God, I look horrendous. I look so bad. But yes, anyways, I shall see you guys on the other side. I don't know if I'm going to vlog actually traveling there. I was just saying this to Libby because I've done so many travel vlogs and I feel like getting on the plane is the same thing every time. So I don't know if I'm actually going to vlog traveling there, but I shall vlog um, obviously as soon as we arrive. And Nashville and Miami vlogs are going to be sick. Like I literally can't wait. And we're going to be full tourists. Also, we're going to Elvis's house and I can't bloody wait for that. Anyways, I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed the little a little catch up with me and I shall see you all soon.